federal and state laws that can protect car buyers from the bad car dealers out there. Welcome to the Homework Guy channel. Friends, if you're in the market for a car or just curious about the laws that protect car buyers, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're diving into the world of the legal framework that governs the activities of car dealers. We also have a little update on channel memberships at the end. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and sitting right over here is the always amazing Elizabeth. Thanks, Kevin. Whether you're buying a new or used car, understanding your rights as a consumer is essential to defending yourself. The knowledge in this video is definitely a part of my secret sauce to becoming a great negotiator, and today we break it all down from complex legal jargon into plain everyday language and provide you with insights that every car buyer should know. We're shedding light on the laws that are in place to ensure transparency, fairness, and protection to car buyers like you from some of the most unscrupulous car dealers out there. This is the stuff that levels the playing field. By the way, friends, this show today is a great example of one of the many highly impactful chapters which will be laid out in full detail in our Car Buyer's Handbook, which we are expecting to publish by Christmas. We loved it so much when we put it together, we decided to preview it for you today. As you're watching today, if you find this content helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on upcoming shows. When it comes to buying a car, both state and federal laws provide protections for car buyers to ensure fair and transparent transactions. It's stuff you need to know. So let's get started. First, here are some of the federal laws that are very impactful. The Truth in Lending Act, known as TILA, this law requires dealers to provide clear and accurate information about financing terms, including the annual percentage rate, otherwise known as APR, and total loan costs. TILA is a federal law that is designed to protect consumers and it requires dealers to provide transparency and accuracy in lending transactions. While TILA primarily applies to various types of credit transactions, including loans and credit cards, it also has implications for car buyers who finance their purchases. Here is in part how TILA protects car buyers. It requires one, disclosure of loan terms, which allows car buyers to understand the true cost of the loan. Number two, right of rescission. Number three, provides interest rate caps, which creates a limit on how much interest you can be charged. And number four, requires uniform loan terminology so the writing in your loan isn't confusing for you. And number five, gives a right to receive a written notice of denial. So if you're declined for a loan, you'll know why. Friends, let me say this. If you need TILA protections because you're sitting in a dealership trying to get financing, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> get a pre-approval from your own bank or credit union first. Do not turn yourself over like a clueless guinea pig to a dealer finance officer. Then there's the all-important Consumer Leasing Act. This federal law is key to anyone with a car lease because it requires dealers to provide clear and complete information about lease terms, including monthly payments, fees, and penalties. It also mandates a disclosure of key lease details, including all lease buyout fees. Boom. This law is incredibly key to know for anyone who currently has a leased car and wants to buy it out, because it legally prohibits dealers from charging you any fees not clearly stated in your lease documents. Go back and read them. The truth is that nearly 100% of the time, when any consumer is paying dealer fees on a lease buyout, the dealer is violating the Consumer Leasing Act by charging a previously undisclosed fee. You need to bust their chops for this one, guys. Yes. Next is the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act. This law regulates warranties on consumer products, including cars. It ensures that dealers honor warranty commitments and provides legal remedies for consumers if warranty obligations are not met. Very important to understand this law if a dealer refuses to do work covered by warranty on your car. Fulfilling the obligations of a warranty is not optional for a dealer. Next is the Dodd-Frank Act of 2010. This is the law that you've all been asking for more details on. Under Section 1414 of the Dodd-Frank Act, passed into law in 2010, it contains restrictions on prepayment penalties on certain car loans, including 61 months or longer car loans. Several times we've been asked by viewers about the specific law reference that prohibits prepayment penalties on car loans, and that's over 61 months. That's Section 1414 of the Dodd-Frank Act, so there you have it. Next up is Tide Selling. Tide Selling addresses the nonsense of forced add-ons where a dealer tells you that you must buy things they added to the car whether you want them or not, saying, we already installed them on the car. That is not legal. This issue is addressed by two federal departments of the U.S. government, the Federal Trade Commission, otherwise known as the FTC, and the U.S. Department of Justice, the DOJ. Forced dealer add-ons are not legal, friends. 
Next up, we've got some good state laws that can help you. State laws can vary significantly, so it's important to familiarize yourself with the specific laws in your state. That's something I always do before car shopping in any given area. I'm never sitting in a dealership without having thoroughly researched the relevant state laws. And neither should you. Yep, it's definitely one of my power negotiating moves. That's an excellent point, Liz. However, as a heads up for our viewers, there are several areas of state level legal protection that Liz researches and are commonly covered by state laws. They include things like lemon laws. Important to know that lemon laws are state specific. Most states have lemon laws that protect buyers from purchasing defective vehicles. These laws provide remedies if a car has a significant defect that the dealer cannot repair within a reasonable number of attempts. But documentation means everything when filing a lemon law complaint. So keep good records of everything you do or have done to your vehicle. There are also used car warranty laws. Some states require dealers to provide warranties on used cars, particularly for vehicles sold with low mileage. These warranties typically cover certain defects or malfunctions for a specific period after purchase. Where it's legally required, the warranty must be clearly stated in the window sticker. All right, and then there's disclosure requirements. States may also have specific requirements for dealers to disclose information about a car's history, including previous accidents, title status, and mileage. These requirements are designed to prevent fraudulent practices and misleading statements about a car's history to you, the buyer. Many dealers provide a free history report on their vehicles, the better ones do it, even when state law does not mandate it. So always remember to ask for that. Unfair and Deceptive Trade Practices Acts. Many states have laws that prohibit unfair and deceptive practices by car dealers. These laws protect consumers from practices such as false advertising, misrepresentation, and deceptive sales tactics. There are many examples of how dealers engage in this kind of activity. They include the good old bait and switch. The dealership advertises a specific car model at an attractive price to lure customers into the showroom. However, upon arrival, they claim the advertised car is no longer available and pressure the customer into buying a more expensive alternative. And hey, Liz, real quick, a viewer actually contacted us recently to say that a dealer knowingly did a bait and switch and then explained to the viewer to say, well, you know, every other dealer is doing it, so... We get to add our fees and stuff like that. And no, you don't. <laughs> they said every other dealer is doing it. Yeah, every other dealer is doing it anyway. So it's okay for us to break the law. What are you Baloney. in junior high? Seriously. Yes. Dealers will also often surprise customers with hidden fees. This is also deceptive advertising. Dealerships advertise cars at a certain price but fail to disclose additional fees, such as dealer fees, document fees, destination charges, until the buyer is already in the negotiation process. This violates most state-level unfair and deceptive trade practice laws. And then, of course, there's misleading discounts. Dealers put large discounts or savings in advertisements on a car's price but fail to disclose that these discounts are conditional upon meeting specific criteria such as financing through the dealership at a high interest rate. And then there's also arbitration and mediation. Some states have programs that offer arbitration and mediation services to resolve disputes between buyers and dealers without the necessity of going to court. And the fact that the states are doing this, you guys, tells you how big the problem actually is. For sure. It's crucial, friends, to research the laws and regulations specific to your state and become familiar with your rights as a car buyer. As I said earlier, one of the reasons I am regarded by some people as a savage negotiator <laughs> comes directly from my personal interests and the time I invest in understanding the law. With the upcoming published date of our Car Buyer's Manual, you'll have a powerful negotiating tool you can use to prepare for a dealer visit and materials you can take along with you for backup if a dealer tries to pin you in a corner with lies or deception. Also, always do yourself the favor of slowing things down in finance by thoroughly reviewing all the contracts and documents provided by the dealer. Just piss off that finance officer by taking your good old time of reading everything. Yes, and don't forget to have an independent mechanic inspect a used car before finalizing a purchase. By the way, if you encounter problems or believe your rights have been violated, you can also consult with a legal professional who specializes in consumer protection or automotive law. That's what you need to look for, a consumer protection attorney. Hey, somebody like our good old friend, attorney Dan Whitney in Maryland. Yes, Dan is amazing. And a quick reminder to anyone seeking help or direct involvement from your Kevin in your fourth quarter car deal, there are two membership packages available that offer this service. It's easy to join. Just hit the join button below this video and select a package that's right for you. 
Packages that offer direct help are the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99 that gives direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special email dedicated to members only. The next package is Homework Guy Consults at $49.99. This package gives regular text message contact with both me and Kevin, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. This is in addition to the email contact in the previous package. Also, any membership level can be canceled at any time, so there's no risk for you. Just do us the favor, if you sign up or you've already signed up for one of our direct help membership packages, send us a text to 701-441-3399 and alert us that you're a new member. Staff will immediately forward your contact info to Kevin, and he will get in contact with you from his personal cell phone. And for members only, I'm actually disclosing my personal cell phone in our membership only posts. So... You guys, you get in touch with me directly uh, once you're a member here on the Homework Guy channel. Also, as an extra incentive for the first 50 members to sign up, that goes for all membership levels. You will get a free copy of our Car Buyer's Manual when it comes out. And by the way, that outline is now posted on our Members Only Community page. And know that becoming a member is simple. Just hit the Join button below the video to sign up today. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. So make sure you take time to give us a visit. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook. So go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you just became a member on our channel, super cool, thank you. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock and you know it. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. We gotta go get some bacon. <laughs> <laughs>